Just like many mid to high handicap golfers, my mate Foxy most of the time hits his irons like this. Oh. But it's hybrid like this. Great shot. So what about a full set of hybrids? Let's do it. Let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, you join us today on a spectacular day for a very exciting video. Now recently, guys, I've been testing the new Wilson Launchpad 2 irons. Foxy, what are your thoughts on these bad boys? They look uber forgiving, really, really. You don't get an eight iron that looks much more forgiving than that, do you? I've never, I've never swung an iron like that. No, never really laid eyes on too many like that either, so I think this could be a, a strange video because we're going to take on the par 3 course here at Woolley Park Golf Club. There's some difficult holes on here, but we're going to use fairly forgiving irons. Do these help you? Do the hinder you? I'm going to talk through exactly why it might be the case as we play. Yeah. But we're going to try and put a score together, mate. So uh, Here we go, see what we've got. Yeah, so we've got 170 yards on this first hole. They are, as you imagine, they are fairly strong lofted um, and they should go. A good fair distance. What are you thinking? I'm thinking seven. Okay. When you say 170. 171, it says it's a little bit forward, maybe one, 165. I think you could probably hit eight, you know, thinking about it. I think we're going to get an eight. Yeah. So, guys, as you can see here, we have massive wide soles on these. I have done a couple of videos with me using them and testing them. So, if you want to check that out, I will link it in the description below. Jam pack full of technology. Let's see if they work. For a 25 handicap golfer. I say, did Laura use these the other day as well? She did yeah, indeed. Yeah. How'd she get on with them? Uh, you know what? See how you used it off this tee because she nailed it off this tee. Oh no! <laughs> Great shot. That'll do us. Oh look at that! That wasn't too difficult to get airborne, mate, was it? No, that really. Uh, climbed and that is up. a greening reg on the first hole. That screamed up actually. Yeah. Was it almost like it was on a launch pad? Yeah, straight up. Straight, oh, no, up. <laughs> straight up there, look. So an awesome tee shot there, guys, to kick things off for Foxy. And one of the things that I was not too sure about with these irons, I think they'd be perfect for someone like my dad. Yeah. Someone like my mum, someone who isn't really bothered about having lessons too much, just wants to go out, make golf as easy for themselves as possible. But for someone like yourself who's still quite young, still wants to I still want to progress. I want to to be a good golfer. Could it you know make I mean? golf too easy with these? That's do you get one away, of my worries. Do you get away with too much? You probably do get away with a lot. But what it's not teaching you is to pressure an iron shot. No. Because with these, you don't need to hit down on it. The centre of gravity is that far back. It's designed to launch the ball up in the air. Hence, launch pad irons. Oh, mate, you've missed a green. Oh. We'll still take it. I'll take it all day long. Yeah. Guys, comment below. We're going to play a handful of holes here. What is Foxy going to shoot in relation to par using the Wilson launch pad to irons? That's a lovely little putt, not one you can race at it really. That's about as stress free a par as you're ever going to get, mate. We'll take that one all day long. And we shall move on. Right, that's a par for him on the first hole. I'm carrying the clubs for some reason. I'm the caddy as well today. But one of the interesting things that I think this could help him with as well, not that he needs help in it, short game. So you know like that 50 yard pitch, 80 yard pitch. Yeah. So these come with a gap wedge, which is in there somewhere. And you can see that gap wedge has still got that mega wide sole. It's still as forgiving as you like. Could that maybe help you around the greens more? Possibly. But that's certainly a benefit, which I think if it is something you struggle with, these clubs are definitely going to help you with not just launching it up with a five iron, a six iron, or a eight iron, I don't know, an iron. <laughs> an iron. 148 yards again, we're a tiny bit further forward. Playing about 140, but uphill. Do you go Do you go wedge or do you go nine? I think, looking at how that eight iron's just uh, took off, I think I'm going to go with a pitching we wedge. We can go pitching wedge all day with that. There you go, sir. What are your thoughts on this? Because I've got I've got certain thoughts on the kind of pitching wedge and the nine iron. I think they've done really well to hide all that junk in the trunk. Yeah, that you that you can't really tell, can you? It just looks just looks like a a game improvement iron from from there for this one, doesn't it? Yeah. 
oh, it stayed straight. It's a great strike. And the distance is perfect. That felt like they helped me there. Yeah? Felt like I didn't get, get through the ball properly, but it's still gone, so. Well, it was really there. Took a nice divot with it, so I don't know where the tee was, but. So yeah, I, it felt like it was slightly heavy for me, that one. Yeah, so you think that soul's I, I think just... that soul's just helped out there, so. Right. I mean, that's almost flag high up there to the right, that's up there, and maybe have a chip with them and see how you got on with that short game. Are you carrying them now? I'll do with it. So guys, out of interest, I'd be really, really interested to know, would you put these in the bag? Would you be a little bit ashamed, a little bit embarrassed? Would you not want to rock up on the tee with all your friends with them? Would you have them in the bag if they helped you massively? If they helped me massively, yeah. But I like, like you touched uh, to start with, I think they're more, more for very, very much beginners or people who just want to make golf easy at the later end of the career. Yeah, like, there's definitely a market for them. There's a market for them. I don't, I'm not sure exactly for me, because like I say, I'm, I'm trying to yeah, work hoping hard. To, yeah. yeah, hoping to get. If, if it turns out I'm absolutely rubbish, then after about four or five years, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I might give up. Right, just short of the green. Nice chip up. We're going that gap wedge? Yeah, we'll have a go. Let's see how easy this, uh, this makes it for you. So you still need the right technique, obviously, you still need that weight forward, but it's just designed to maybe get the ball up in the air a little bit easier. You lose the versatility of being able to open the club up. It does brush really nice though. It does, doesn't it? So... Big thing here is don't forget you need to think about how the ball's going to act when it lands. So many people think, oh, the club does all the work for me. You still need to know what it's going to do when, where it lands. So there, you've played a really, really lovely shot and easy, but just landed it probably 10 yards too far. Yeah, but... The ball flight was it. gorgeous. I haven't duffed it. You haven't duffed it. I haven't thinned it. Oh, this could be absolutely delightful. Keep it's going. Not hard enough. I can't believe that. I thought she was just going to go climb a little bit higher. Yeah, I did. Oh. Made hard work it with that chip, didn't I? Yep, I'll give you that one, man. That's a double bogey. It was more the chip, though. I think leaving yourself this putt, yeah. always going to be difficult. Can't really blame the clubs. Just a three putt, wasn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good one, wasn't it? It just seemed to glide through it. There was nothing. It, yeah. it doesn't see. It, it, it's not a worry about you know being a little bit heavy. Yeah. It's just going to help you. It just just comes through. So I think there's something something in that for people who like favour the old duff shot. Oh, oh, not bad. Difficult hole, long hole. We'll see it in, but see it in. <laughs> Very good. Confidence builders. We'll take them. Ooh. Right. Slightly more palatable hole for you, folks. 140 again, we're slightly forward, probably playing 130. Just a nice pitching wedge, is it? I think so. Yeah? Probably not even a full one this, you know. Downwind, I've just realised. Yeah, just a nice feely one. Now, I mean, again here, flag high to the right, with what wasn't a very good, well, you know what, wasn't your best golf swing? No. Gap wedge again, is it? Just gap wedge. It's either land it on the green let release or land it on the brow hill and just let it run through. I think through. brow of the hill all day, you know, with the speed of them. I'll try. So it's just a little one here though. Well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really good. We'll take that. Took a little kick, didn't it, off at Brow Hill? Yeah. But... Again, the ball got up in the air nice and easily, didn't it? Yeah, it was easy. Would it be worth some people just putting that in the bag? A chipper. Well, it's essentially, I suppose that's what it is, isn't it? It looks a bit like a chipper. A little hybrid it? wedge. Yeah. That might be interesting to uh, Ooh. discuss more on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, delightful. That was nice. Pa, well done. Right guys, two holes left. This is 190 yards into the wind. Wow. <laughs> Do you know as we're going up the, uh, uh, obviously up the distances, we 
yeah. with them obviously picking up and whatnot, are you going to start to lose distance the higher up you get? Or? Potentially into the wind, that's one thing I found actually. I found versatility certainly isn't a strong point, so you may need the five just because the wind might knock it out of the flight, it, out its it flight a bit. Yeah. I don't think you need to do anything special with it, just a nice one. Yeah. Up that left side and it should kick in. Oh, how good is that? That? That's going exactly where you aim, it's just drawn on you. And that is massive as well. <laughs> wow. Gives that, a six. Yeah, that was a long way, wasn't it? Yeah. So I almost think that's... Uh, going to lose another provisional ball. Yeah. How easy did that five feel to hit? Really easy. Yeah. Just glided, just glid, glided through. Glid? Gl glid, glided. 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 Just glided through. Not pa paraglid, is it? No. <laughs> See ya. It was only a brand new Pro one out of the box. Don't worry about it too much, I mate. found you one the other day, though, so it's all right. Um, that's gone a long way. Yeah. Not a long way where you want it to go, either. But, but it's a good miss. It's a, well, it's not a bad miss. Mm. It's not lost miss. Well, it's not a brand new Pro V1 in the field miss, is it? So it's a good miss. No. It's a joy to watch with the uh, the short game. Over that hill, releasing down. It's going to be a horrible putt. But it's a good shot. Just a little bit more right, You've and I think both, that kind of both of those chip shots. Now, could that be because of the kind of offset on there? Maybe I think it could, but you've hit the green with quite a difficult shot there, so we'll take it. She was that far right. Yeah, excellent pace though, mate. That's good in my book for a uh, a bogey. You know what the annoying thing is there? What? First thing, I don't think it's that far right. I've just moved it and now it's... Yeah, oh well. Live and learn. Good bogey that really from that hole. So, so far, four over par for five holes for you there with a double. So not bad golf at all really. Again, 25 handicap. If you go in around any kind of bogeys, you're quite happy. With that, are the irons helping you much? You're enjoying the feel of them? Do you feel like it's more with your own irons you'll probably be doing as well, if not better? Um, I think the, like, like we've always said, the, the one horrendous tee shot that I have I've played, I think they've helped me out a yeah. lot. Um, I am quite enjoying it to be honest. There's only one thing that I'm not massively fond of, and it's just the noise. Yeah. The sound. It's uh, how do you, so. How do you feel like the noise when you're walking with them in the bag? Just don't. They just sound hollow and tinny, and That's exactly what they are. Yeah. <laughs> but I think for my dad, they'd be perfect. Yes. Right then, Foxy. Final hole. The mission: should you choose to upsect it, upsect it, upsect it, or accept it, accept it is par it mate, you're four of a par through six holes, that's good golf in anyone's boat. Yep, we'll take that. Let's see if we go ahead. about 160 downhill into the wind, got yeah. a seven have I've you? I've got a seven, yeah. Good guess that, weren't it? Good strike, a little bit left, that's okay though. It's gonna be a difficult chip again. What you've done, all you've done wrong really today is leave yourself short side of chip shots, missing it wrong side, see that flag's on the left, just it's going to be a difficult chip, but it's up there and it's down. It's in there and it's down, but we're just mid-transition, aren't we? Normally I'm setting up for a bit of a slice yeah. and I'm just starting to hit straight a little bit and a little bit of a draw. Oh. So again here, from not a great strike, pin high. Another difficult chip though. People see what I mean about being short-sided. Have to kind of keep this up on that ledge or it's going to run away from us. Yep. Tell you what, how good is that? We didn't talk about birdie in it. <gasps> oh! Ooh, that's a great effort. That'd have been nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, that was a lovely, lovely chip shot. Right, mate, this for par. Yeah, I tell you what, I'd have, I don't think I'd have come anywhere, anywhere as near with my wedges as that. No, they just feel so easy. Just, just a just nice putting stroke and almost like cheating, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's get this in for par, mate. Four over for. Six holes is the opportunity. Nice. Good man.
Really good golf with a few bumps in between. What would you sum up these clubs with in a few words? You know what, they are fun. They are really, really forgiving and really helpful. I don't think I'd game them personally. Yeah. Nice to test them, see what they're all about. But they also kind of taught me a few things as well. Just just with the chipping was just uh, just yeah. strokes and stuff. Just keep it basic. Just keep it basic, yeah. There and I'll tell go. you what they're definitely perfect for, because you're an old man. Absolutely. Oi.